Hey guys, it's Hobson. Welcome back to the FIFA 13 player review. And today I'm going to be doing it on the inform Stefan Sessegnon. Let's look at his on card stats. He's got 86 pace, 77 shooting, 80 passing, 87 dribbling, 61 defending, and 72 heading. It cost me 71,000 coins, which for me, that's a big amount. He has a 5 star weak foot, and he's also got. Four star skill moves. He plays for Sunderland in the Barclays Premier League and his nationality is Benin. He plays in the centre forward role and his well the formation I used was a 4 3 1 2. Let's look at his on card, sorry, in game stats. He's got 87 acceleration, 89 agility, 95 balance. He's also got 73 jumping, 88 reactions, 86 sprint speed, 81 strength. He has also got 81 aggression, 83 attack and positioning, 81 vision. He's also got 86 ball control, 80 crossing, 81 curve, 91 dribbling, 81 finishing, 75 free kick accuracy, 69 heading accuracy, 78 long pass, um, 81 long shots. He's also got 82 penalties, 84 short passing. 85 shot power. He's also got 73 volleys and he's also a medium defensive work rate and he's also got a medium defensive work rate and medium attacking work rate. And he plays in the right midfield, a left midfield, and he also plays as a center attacking midfield. Let's go a little bit more in depth about stats. His pace element, 86 pace, it suits me a lot. He can run away from most defenders with the, with the exception of the likes of Felipe Santana and Thiago Silva. His shooting stats are amazing. He's got 81 finishing. He's also got 84 long shots and he's got about 85 shot power and I think that is totally underrated. I think his shot power and long shots, I thought they were in the uh, high 80s, low 90s but I was relatively surprised how underrated they actually are. He's actually got fantastic passing, you know, his, vision's, his vision is quite good, his long passing is actually really quite good as well, and he's also got fantastic short passing, so definitely fulfills the role of a centre forward, a centre attack midfielder. He's also got fantastic dribbling, 91 dribbling, it means he can get through tiny little gaps very, very easily. And for a centre attack midfielder, he's also got 61 defending, that is absolutely amazing immense um, which means he can also play as a centre midfielder if you need him to and he's also got 72 heading and remember this guy is 5 foot 6 so 72 heading is relatively pretty pretty good in my honest opinion and if you guys really you know where should he actually play him? I think you should, if you want to play him as a centre forward, um, go for it. You know, play fantastic there. Same as a centre attack midfielder. If you want to play him as a striker, I recommend playing him with another striker because I think it will work a lot more better. So all in all, you should buy this guy definitely. So if you guys want to drop a like, subscribe to Hopsnot, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.